so guys after i was done closing the side this is the final result of this dress as you can see how beautiful it came out and it's very easy to make hello guys you're welcome to my channel again this is a home of fashion where i do teach how to cut and sew varieties of time so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you guys how to make this baby vlog your gown as you can see so guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and don't forget turn on the notification bell select all so that whenever i post a new video you can always come back to watch so and i say big thanks to all my returning subscribers and if you're new here you're also welcome may god bless you all so guys let's dive into the main tutorial so i just have a piece of fabric here that i'm going to use to run this tutorial so as you can see i have folded this into four so if you have one yard of fabric you are okay with it don't trash it you can use it to make something beautiful for your baby girl so into four now the width is 15 so by the time you open that means it's 30 the total width is 30 and the length is 21 and this dress is for three years old baby girl so guys i'm measuring the armhole now so i measure three by three so i'm just going to make a straight line to connect to connect it together so i'm covering it to make my armhole then for this front side at the midpoint i came down by one inch so i'm going to connect back to my to my armhole side okay so now that i'm done doing this i'm just going to cut it out So now let's open it up to see what we have gotten. So as you can see, it looks sloppy around the mid part. So this will enable it to sit down perfect, to sit perfect on the yoke. All right. So we're going to set this aside. So now I have this other piece here. This is into two. It's 13 by 13 inch. So this is what we're going to be using to cut the yoke. So I'm going to be folding this, folding it this way, and again fold it this way. So we are using this now to cut the yoke. So from the from the midpoint, I'm going to place my tape rule to measure three inches. So I'm going to be taking that three inches round. So I'm connecting it together. So this will be our neckline. So from here now, I'm going to be marking 3.5 inch. So I'm going to be marking it round like that. So now I'm going to cut it out. So let's open it up to see what we've gotten. So we're going to slit one side. That is going to be the back side. So this is it. We've gotten our round yoke. So now I'm going to be turning it like this, right side facing the right side. So I'll be taking it to my machine to go and stitch it. But then I'm going to show you how I'm going to be stitching this. So after you are done setting like this, we're just going to start from tip here. Then you stitch around this way, this way to this end. All right. Again, from this end, this way, this way, to this end. So I'll go ahead. I'll go and do that. Then I'll come and show you the next thing to do. So to the main, to the main 
to the, to the main body of the dress i'm going to be using this strap to pipe in the armhole side okay i'm just going to pipe in it like this so i'll go ahead i'll go and do all that then i'll come and show you the next thing to do all right guys i'm done doing that as you can see i've already piped in the armhole i've done the same thing to this other side so i'm setting this aside now so for the yoke i'm just going to notch around so now i'm going to turn it out So this is it. Just going to set it to make sure that everything is well aligned. So I have a little strap here that I've already fold. So I'm going to be inserting it. Once I'm going to push it in like this, then I will insert it at the tips. So I'm going to be adding a button there. So it's going to be like this it's going to be like this so i'm going to be adding a button here so i'll go ahead i'll go and on it then i'll come and show you the next thing to do all right guys as you can see i've already done that then i've just used a stitch to join it back together again as you can see so we're going to be adding our button just just like this on it so so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be locating the midpoint of it then i'll chalk it out before i'll start showing you how we're going to be adding the main body to the yoke So now I'm going to be measuring 2.5 from the shoulder then I'll mark then also mark the back do the same thing to this other side so I've gotten all my marks ready now So I'm also checking the mid part, the mid part of the of the main body of the dress. So now I'm going to be holding it like this. So I'll be pleating it like this. So I'm just going to be holding it down with my office pen. So the fabric is a little bit wobbling. But I believe we can still get it right. It's really really wobbling so guys if you're finding this video helpful please like share and subscribe subscribe turn on your notification bell so that whenever I post a new video like this you can always come back to watch all right
so i'm done holding them down as you can see the garage is much around the mid part so i'm just going to gently take it to my machine then i'll place the yoke on it like this then i'll gently stitch it okay so i'm going to gently stitch it just like this gently stitch it yes so i'll do the i'll do the same thing to the back side i'll do the same thing to the back side and i'll come and show you the next thing to do so guys i'm done doing that as you can see i've already added the button to the back side this is the front side of the dress this is it as you can see how beautiful it's coming out so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to turn turn it then right side facing the right side just going to close the side and i'll full stitch it then i'll come and show you the final look of it all right guys our yoke baby flock is ready as you can see how beautiful this came out so this is how i always make it simple easy and understandable here so please subscribe like and always share my video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you all may god bless you all see you in my next video bye for now